from the campus of the University of Alabama, Live Sports. From Alabama's sports team, this is WVUA Sports. Good evening, everybody. I'm Scott Braswell. Gary Harris has the evening off. Let's begin tonight with Alabama women's basketball. The season has been a tough one for the Tide as they currently sit at 13 and 16 overall, which is two wins in SEC play. But tonight they hosted the Florida Gators in the final home game of the season. Let's take you out to Foster Auditorium. Brianna Hutchin with her parents on senior night. Obviously very emotional, but a scary moment at the end of the first half. Watch this. Sharon Rivers lands awkwardly on her left leg in quite a bit of pain. She would be helped off the court and unfortunately would not be able to return to the game. This was a close one all the way down. Closing minutes, Gators up two, and it's Cassie Peoples. Blows by the Bama defense and gets the layup. Florida up four, but Alabama would go down without a fight. Here's Corilla Middlebrook. Would respond with a score of her own. Florida still by two, but they would sink their free throws and prevail 53-49. to Here's Christy Curry talking about her seniors. Just their commitment to the program and um, as people and as players and see their growth um, since the moment we got here has, has been unbelievable and they're both going to go be really successful and I think the biggest disappointment of, of the night is you just, you just hate to see a senior lose on senior night. So my heart aches and breaks for them. Um, I credit Florida, they were able to make a few more plays down the stretch and just we were not. Well, some bad news tonight for the Alabama men's basketball team. They announced that junior point guard Ricky Tarrant will be sidelined for the remainder of the season. Tarrant suffered a foot injury against Florida on January 27th and has missed the tie's last eight games. Prior to the season, the medical staff diagnosed an issue with Tarrant's knee that would eventually require surgery, but they decided to put it off until the end of the season. But given his recent injury, Anthony Grant decided it was best to go ahead with the operation. In light of uh, the foot injury, the foot injury actually originally happened, uh, I think sometime late October, early November. Uh, that kept him out. Uh, I think he may have missed maybe the first couple of games. Uh, we were able to manage that. Uh, now that uh, he, he ruptured uh, the plantar fascia, uh, his progress hasn't been uh, in terms of being able to be available uh, as, as speedy as I think he would have liked or uh, we thought maybe could happen for him, so the decision was just made to uh, go ahead and, and take care of uh, the knee issue and, and uh, let the foot heal. And uh, so we all felt like that was the best thing moving forward. Alabama basketball team has their first academic All American. Yeah! Coach Grant, for the first time in program history, Alabama men's basketball has an academic All-American. Senior guard Levi Randolph has been selected to the 2014-15 Capital One Academic All-America second team. The Madison native is currently working towards his master's degree in marketing. Randolph is the only player from the Southeastern Conference to earn the honor in the sport of men's basketball. Let's do the basketball. Sunshine High School will close at the end of the current school year, and the boys basketball team, well, they're trying to send themselves out in style with a Class 1A state championship. The Tigers will face Sacred Heart Catholic from Anniston tomorrow morning at 1030 in the title game at the BJCC's Legacy Arena. We will have highlights tomorrow night at 5 o'clock. All we go to baseball, the game time for Alabama baseball series opening contest with Louisiana Lafayette on Friday at the Hoover Met has been moved up from 630 to 3 o'clock to avoid some freezing nighttime temperatures. The tie took just one of three from the Houston Cougars last weekend and Bama head coach Mitch Gaspard is expecting another tough series against the Raging Cajuns. Another big series coming up here with Louisiana Lafayette. That's uh, you know really a perennial top 25 team year in year out and uh, very well coached team. So. Another big challenge for us going into the weekend series. Before we go to break, Class 7A boys semifinals action. Hoover defeats Lee Montgomery 65 to 56 in double overtime. They advance to the 7A state championship on Saturday night at BJCC Legacy Arena. That's all the time we have for sports. Tamika's back with more news right after the break.